a region remote landlocked inaccessible for the longest time with forests so dense and mountains so unsurmountable its tribal population was completely cut off from the world outside in the midst of this mountainous area priorly known as the northeast frontier agency lies a picturesque valley with fertile lands inhabited by a tribe of efficient rice cultivators This is the Zero Valley in the state of Arunachal Pradesh. The land of the fertile paddy plains at an altitude of 5500 feet and inhabited by the progressive Apatani people. I am at my favorite spot today. My favorite spot not only because I have a very good view of Zero from here, uh, but also because I can literally look down at the wo uh, white wall from here. Yes, I am looking down at uh, Jiro Valley from a hill, which is uh, more than 1,000 feet from rest of the people at Jiro Valley. The Apatani oral story tells us that uh, the Apatani uh, settled down at Jiro Valley about uh, more than uh, 500 years ago. We don't have any historical evidence, but uh, oral story tells us uh, such stories that we migrated to this place. Uh, some 500 years ago zero has the highest number of schools in the state even more than its capital itanagar it has a total of more than 100 government and private run schools and one undergraduate college run by the claritians missionaries numpi is a 10 year old apatani girl living in the tajang village in zero her family is one of the modern apatani families but among those who hold their traditions and culture close to their heart She is up by seven in the morning and is helped by her mother to get dressed for school. Apatani's are mainly a rice cultivating tribe, non-nomadic, unlike most of their counterparts in the state. They believe their ancestors once migrated to this beautiful land from across the northern mountains, the Himalayas. The language they speak belongs to the Sino-Tibetan family. Apatani's are nature worshippers, following an animistic religion they call Donye Polo. Donye meaning the sun and polo referring to the moon. It is 8 in the morning and Numpi has to catch her school bus from the bus stop a jog away from her home. As she runs through the lane she crosses the houses of her neighbors which are traditional and made of bamboo and timber. Tajang village is one of the new settlements in Zero Valley but is very traditional in terms of its setup. Numpi catches the bus on time and boards it to get to her school, the Vivekanand Kendriya Vidyalaya. As her bus crosses the rice plains of Zero Valley, people can be seen working in the fields, reaping the rich paddy harvest. The nature worshipping Apatanis believe that the gods protect their crops and have altars called the Agyans in the middle of their fields. Apatanis are known to be progressive in terms of their way of life and their tribal habits and rituals. As nature worshippers, they take utmost care of their land and keep sustainability in mind always. The Vivekananda Kendriya Vidyalaya in Zero is a state recognized school and is managed by the Vivekananda Kendriya Vidyalaya Arunachal Pradesh Trust. Numpi schoolmates mostly belong to the area, but some of them come from adjoining districts like the West Siang and the Upper Subang city. All the students start gathering around the school campus by 8:30 a.m. The school has residential hostel facilities for both boys and girls. Numpi has her classroom in one corner of the school campus. As her school day begins, daily activities in Zero, which is one of the first regions in India to see the sun in the morning, are already underway. As for the students, their day starts with the school prayer. Apatanis are settlers, rice producers and animal husbandry practitioners, rearing pigs, cattle, poultry and an Indian bison hybrid locally called the Mithun. Their style of farming is sustainable as well as permanent unlike the shifting cultivation of most of Arunachal Pradesh. Their system of aji cultivation which is a combination of paddy and fish farming with millet on the buns separating each plot is known to be very efficient and most productive in the region 
It is probably these age-old customs that create in the Apatanis a yearning to save the environment. Numpi is taking part in a drawing competition at school. The environment-based topic that they have been given to draw on has had interesting results and the young creative minds have given commendable outcomes. She returns from school by one in the afternoon on the same school bus. Definitely more cheerful, she plays with her friends on the bus ride back home. As we head towards her house, moving through the entire valley, dropping off children, it is a realization that education itself can bring in more hope for this valley. With the Apatani people heading out to the larger cities in the country and bringing back as many possibilities for their tribe and for their land, it is now to be seen whether the modernity they bring with them is in sync with the tribal roots that their society is based on. The Zero Valley has always followed a model of growth that can be an example for many other regions, founded on deep respect for nature and yet opening up to new possibilities. The sustainable development that Zero practices is in keeping with the love that the Apatanis have for the nature around them. Even today, getting to Zero is quite arduous, but the self-sufficient Apatanis have brought about great development in their region which completely belies preconceived ideas of modern development in the world today. It is a picture-perfect haven locked away in a remote mountainous terrain, untouched by the exploitation of mankind, and by the looks of it, the Apatanis will continue to maintain it thus in the future. <laughs>